footballers wearing studded boots and kicking a, a football around the course would make most green keepers break out in a sweat. But an increasing number of golf courses around the country are now embracing the new sport of foot golf and seeing its potential benefits. Well, the Presswich Club in Greater Manchester will host the UK's first International Open next month, and I've been for a round with some of the inaugural players. They may be dressed in traditional golf attire, but there's nothing old-fashioned about these pioneers of a new sport that is sweeping the fairways. No need to get out your irons or your woods when you can just swing your right peg. I think most golf clubs would kick the idea of football on the fairways well into touch, but a growing number are opening up the tees to foot golfers aiming at 20 inch wide holes. The only condition is they're not allowed on the greens. Hey. Fairly inexpensive sport to come and take part in, apart from uh, following the dress code of the golf courses, which we obviously do. Uh, you only need some good footwear and uh, a football. <laughs> Now, there are the usual hazards you encounter in any round of golf, which just add to the challenge. But four years after the rules were first drawn up in the Netherlands, and nine months after the World Cup was held in Hungary, something really historic happened in front of the breakfast cameras here, on the fifth hole at Presswich, home of the inaugural UK International Foot Golf Open next month. A first only in one on this 107-yard hole was followed by a second, and incredibly, a third. Well, stands have been set, hasn't it? The bar's been raised. It's so tempting just to give it a big boost, but apparently it's more about accuracy and power. And judging how the uh, the course is going to roll with it. So here we go. Second. Put over the lift to the hill. It allows you the opportunity to just think about where you're placing the ball, how much pace you're putting onto it, getting the power right so that you put it where you want it to be, without having to run around against, um, you know, against somebody who's making it difficult for you. You tend to start, start losing a lot of accuracy the harder you try and hit the ball. It's probably better to take a little bit of power off, keep your accuracy, and, and we find that is usually the best way to go. It may raise a few eyebrows among ordinary golfers at first, but by the summer, eight courses in the UK will have foot golf facilities, with more to follow. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. It seems to have paid off for us for a, you know, generally a quite a quiet club during the winter months. It's a, a different kind of sport where guys who haven't got a golf club in their hands can still go out and play. And even when the weather's bad. But while the pools may be bigger, the hole's enormous, yeah. just like golf, this can be such a cruel sport. Yeah, nothing changes then, even with the football still ended up in the water. I can't tell you how incredible that was when they had never seen a hole-in-one to get three pretty much on the bounce there on that 107-yard hole. I don't know how it happened. You saw their reaction. So, to put the case for the defence, mm -hmm. okay, they don't go on the greens. So no damage is under the greens. Mm -hmm. They only play at set times when the course isn't very busy and when perhaps they'd lose business because if the weather's bad and normal golfers wouldn't go out, they could have the foot golfers going around, bring in business, get people onto the course that don't normally play golf, get them interested in going around a golf course. They're Maybe they'll then, they they're may not be going then, to play golf. Club, they might be tempted to, having some sort of mixing with the normal golfers. 